environments full of lizard people. You need to revolt. Wait a second, where am I? This is not my house. Holy moly. What is this place that I am in now? It's my new house. That's what I did. I moved. I was gonna film some cool stuff of me moving, but moving is a lot more stressful than I thought it would be. I was gonna, I was gonna film some, some time lapses, some panorama, some Pan American shots. I was gonna do one of those morph ones where the, where the pixels all go crazy. I was gonna do a couple of things, and then I started moving. The move's been pretty good. I've been taking on the role of a lumberjack recently. It's been real fun to cut down branches from this big old tree outside. That's what I like to fucking see. Other than moving, I've been figuring out the house, you know. There's a couple of little little tweaks in the house. The uh, the whole house is sinking slowly. I'm good for right now, but in maybe like five to ten years, if I don't do anything about it, this house will be um, collapsed on my head and neck area. I mean, like, the doors, the doors all slam because the house is slanted because it is sinking, as I said. I don't know what to do about that. I've been climbing trees. I don't know what else to say. Buy wild turkey. The stocks are only going up. <coughs> Oh my god, I think that's it. I think that's enough footage. I think that's enough. You know, it doesn't feel like home yet, but I think I got something that will make it feel like home. One second. This is test flight one. Come on. It's giving me some lights. Oh my god. I don't fly drones. All right, that was a good first go. That was pretty cool. That'll be good footage. I just want one good go, you know? Oh, it's all the way over there now. Come on. We're going no GoPro this time. All right, 
This is test flight two. No GoPro on it. I lost the drone. Fuck. This is fucking bullshit. Hey, we're gonna go break on the private property to see if we can find it. This is private property. I'm not allowed to go over there. God jiggly jam. I have a feeling it went into the creek. It's all cricky. If I could, if I could like swing like a monkey from all these trees. That'd actually be pretty fucking sick. <sighs> I think I lost my drone, man. That's sick. The drone was worth a gajillion dollars. <sighs> that was a multi zillion dollar drone. Even Dan Balzerian couldn't afford that fucking drone. <sighs> Dude, that drone was Mark Zuckerberg's. He's gonna fucking kill me. <sighs> so I lost my drone. And my will to live. Damn it. I'm sorry, Mark Zuckerberg. I'm sorry, Dan Balzerian. I'm sorry, Rand Paul. I'm sorry, Andy Milanakis. I'm sorry to everybody whose drone it was. I went to the record store and I was curious. What would it sound like if electric pop music of the future was created yesteryear? What if yesteryear they created some electric pop music of the future and they were like, hey, this is what the pop music of the electronic is gonna be in the year 2072. Yeah, let's see what this sounds like. The first song is titled Unidentified Flying Object. Let's give it a listen, give it a gander. Here we go. <laughs> play the last song on the whole album and see how do they end this beautiful symphony. This is good! It's actually good! Thank God there's at least one good song. If you want to hear this song, it's Visa to the... Visa to the Stars. Like Visa, like the credit card Visa to the Stars. That's stupid as fuck. You need to vote for the 